Hi everyone. I was pleasantly surprised the other day. Um, I was preparing for a Lumion course that we did in Johannesburg and I came across not the, a new ability but an integrated ability that Revit, uh, that uh, Lumion 10 now has. <coughs> it's on the um, landscape side where we've got this open street map now. I've done a blog on the open street map before and it's great. Um, I compared Times Square New York in reality to what it's got in Lumion and on the open street map it was there or thereabouts but there's not so much content out there so if you're in Cape Town don't expect to find a realistic buildings for Cape Town but at least the street map is there and in the past we also had something called a height map which is in black and white a representation of Table Mountain but we either had to download these off the internet or we had to prepare them um, in Civil 3D as a very special um, uh, gradient. But not gradient, um, contour, shading of AD topography. Let's have a look at what they've done. I love this. I really, really love this. We open OpenStreetMap by switching it on. It's not the fastest in the world, but you know, South Africa's internet's not that great. It's in a beta form, and that's fine. It's beautiful. And then you click over here on your GPS coordinate. It's very user friendly and intuitive. We can search for a place. I'm going to use Cape Town because you'll recognize Table Mountain immediately. It's a world heritage site, so you should. Um, recognize it, seen it sometime in your life, regardless of where in the world you're from. And there we find Cape Town, Western Cape. It's going to put us down on the airport. In the screen, you can still navigate. I'm going to navigate up into the sky and there we can see Cape Town International Airport, so you've just landed on your airplane and we can also increase how big the map is and that's great. Here where we browse, I'm going to go closer to Cape Town, zoom in a bit and I'm going to put us down towards the ocean here by Bantry Bay. Just wait for it to update. Notice over here you've got these height maps, which you can switch on. busy downloading the imagery. Let's start the OSM download. There's Table Mountain. There you can see Table Mountain. So we're getting there. That looks towards... Okay, it's a little bit... too far out into the ocean. This is about where I want to be. There. Okay, so there's Clifton and Bantry Bay. There we can see Lion's Head appearing. Now this is what really blows my mind, is you've got the, 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 the street overlay with the topography and it's all there. It's not an actual picture, of course, but it's a great representation of what you are looking for. There we can do the OSM download. And what it's going to do is download some of this content and it's going to put some buildings down here. Now these buildings really, <laughs> it's, 
there's very little chance that this is what's what's down on the ground but you know for visual effects maybe it's useful and then you've got these different categories which you can switch on and off the thing that I like is it also puts in the ocean over there water which you can switch on and off earth buildings land use and roads and what's nice about the water is if you switch on the ocean then you would be able to control the height until it's there or thereabouts and if you don't like the topography which I don't know why you wouldn't you can always flatten the map as well <laughs> and now we've got some serious global warming well I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and enjoy OpenStreetMap from Lumion. Um, great for creating context. And until next time.